How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! Okay, I think you can hear me now, right? <laughs> uh, okay, we got this, we got this. I know what I'm doing. It's fine. Oh, of course you missed them, yeah. That's uh, that's one of those things. It's always weird when you wake up and, like, like I don't know, but uh, when your spouse is always home on your days off, it's like it's weird when you wake up and they're not there. It's like, what the f what? Oh, my God, I'm alone. <clears throat> Okay, we got audio, we got game, and uh, I've got hotkeys for some of my scenes now, which is excellent, and I just hope I remember them. Oh. Hope everyone's having a nice Saturday, I'm going to be lurking a bit, no worries, thank you very much for the lurk, uh, making lunch, see I just had breakfast, I just had some, uh, some cereal. yeah uh this is one of my favorite games from my childhood and so we're gonna we're gonna give it a try see uh see how long i last i want to try and get through at least the first like four or five missions there's 20 in the whole game and then there's the deeper dungeons which i've never beat they're incredibly hard the end of this game is incredibly hard as well so uh yeah uh welcome in and good morning and i guess let's just get started Hoping we don't have any more technical issues. Um, obviously, I can't really do anything about the alarm going off. That freaked me. Oh yeah, look at that stunning HD. actually have to exit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry folks. Uh can I try and Game save this game? Saved. Excuse my desk my uh my messy desktop. Uh let's go dungeon keeper. Oh, 
right, I forgot. All you have to do is change the frame rate using hotkeys. Okay, it's control 11 and control 12. So we'll figure out what's going on. How's it going, Alatard? Welcome in. We're going to check the sound settings. You know what? We're just going to do this the easy way. Uh, I'm at 12.2 decibels. I'm just going to turn down desktop audio. There we go. Hopefully that'll fix it. If I have to, I can just come back out and do it again. Play. I have tried Keeper FX in the past. I just I wanted to see if I could even get it set up. Um, I can't remember, is Keeper FX a mod or is it its own separate game? Game loaded. Okay, let's check. There we go. That's much better. How's that sound coming through? Are we back to, you know, normal levels? It is a mod, okay. So I would be able to just mod my, my copy of the game. That's handy. Now let's cut out a bigger layer. You must construct a bigger layer. Every sound type in this game. Okay. So our imps are going in. Oh, I can't spawn more imps. I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, slap the shit out of them. Part one's gonna be a little funky. This is a game I do, I do uh, intend on finishing. Uh, I could probably even up the frame rate just a little bit. There we go. Soon we shall have a lair and start getting creatures. Exciting. Okay, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, you can stop mining. First creature, a fly. They are entirely useless. Let's get some more 
tubes going. There we go. Oh boy. How you doing, Alatar? Your morning's going well. Taking a long as hell, but that's fine. We'll get there eventually. Sweet, we got beetles. This one's Ringo. The most talented beetle. So, uh, the, uh, the imps, you guys gonna like a bigger, a bigger hatchery, please? <clears throat> Flies and beetles, nothing beats them, exactly. I feel like there should be a challenge run. I'm not gonna do it, but somebody should do a challenge run if we did game with only beetles and flies. It's raining like crazy and I live in the desert. Damn! It's, uh, yeah, I feel like everywhere right now the weather has been just crazy for the past couple of weeks like we've been constantly in rain um and we have a, like my fiance and i live in a basement that still has the occasional flood so that's fun coming to take our shit. They can get wrecked. Look at that. Four beetles. We got the whole band. Just because uh, Carrie's app is still asleep, so I don't want to don't want to wake her up if I don't have to. I don't want her to sleep in. Okay, let's get the flies out of there because they can't do shit. <laughs> get right. There we go. I think page up is going to be the other rotation, but it's not. Delete. Okay, so we almost beat level one. Pretty simple. Just gotta wait for Lord of the Land to come and uh, get his ass beat. There he is. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your creatures are under attack. Right, you can only have four creatures attacking one at one time. Okay, let's get Ringo out of there. Yeah, okay, the last one. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. They're all gonna die anyway. Jesus. Slaughtering us. Nice. Alright. That's uh that's level one down. As you can see, I've played this a lot. <laughs> no taxes without representation. <laughs> I 
help, help, I'm being repressed. Alright, let's uh let's zoom out a bit because that makes things a little bit easier. God, I forgot how much I love the music. Okay, I don't think it's until like I don't think it's until like the third or fourth mission that you get a special, a dungeon special. So let's mine out a good chunk of space here. That'll be our bank. Oops. Dungeon Keeper by Bullfrog, Peter Molyneux designed this game, or he was a big part of designing this game. Uh, you may know him from Populous, uh, The Sims, Sim Theme Park, uh, Black and White, one of my favorite games that I literally cannot buy anymore. You have to pirate. I'm not encouraging people to pirate, of course you do, but uh, you literally can't, you can't get it to work unless you, uh, you use some serious aftermarket shit. Just, it was not built to last. Keep our RLs, but inspired by the 
in this game. Uh, so is uh, the War for the Overworld, which was actually pretty good. But again, it was very much Dungeon Keeper two based as opposed to three or uh, one. Yeah, uh, EA kind of destroyed a couple of great things. Uh, the Lord of the Rings strategy games. Fuck, those were so good. Now, somebody did find a weird workaround that you can play those games again, which I'm going to have to try that sometime. Let's get some Beatles training. You know, fuck it. Let's throw a fly in there, too. We got room. Train everything. Effects fixing the problems with compatibility. Okay, I see that. I mean, thankfully, I don't think I have any problems with compatibility. That was something I was a little worried about. How's it going through? any uh, any secrets in this one it's the next one good morning you handsome man turn the music down a little nitro uh yeah the problem is i have to turn down all audio in the stream because it will not mute the music this is dungeon keeper one from 1997. Okay, folks. Okay, how's that? Is that better? I know you can't see anything. because my headphones are set to 2 out of 100. Uh, and it's still pretty loud for me. I, uh, I can't mute the music. At least not here. I would have to exit the game and then go into the settings and then mute the music there. And that's that's a whole... I, I want the music in there. I just don't want it you know, blasting me out. That should be better though, right? I've cut down desktop audio to like very low. See, now I can't even hear any, like, what the fuck? This is dumb. So the sound effects... Oh, so it is literally just the music. That you can't do in-game. Huh. Okay, we'll finish this mission, and I'm going to pop out and change the setting to just mute the music completely. We'll just, we'll go no music. <clears throat> I'm wondering if there's another, like, hotkey I can use. I didn't spell a single word there correctly. Jesus, you have to actually edit it in the comp bay.
Yeah. So you have to actually go into the config file to turn down the music. Uh, no, like I, I don't think you can. They're two separate things, and I think the music for some reason is like hardlined, just separate from everything else. Again, I'm hoping these heroes get here soon. Speak of the deck. Get fucked. We'll finish this mission. I'm gonna pop out and then I'll just mute. Silly bugger. You know what? If the fly wants to go and kill itself, then uh, who am I to stop? Dwarf assisted suicide. <laughs> you smoke too much, you start writing like Yoda speaks. <laughs> out the window. That's, I mean, who cares? I'm not a grammar Nazi. Yes, not everybody's lucky like Canadians in the sense that uh, they made it just full-on legal. Also, let's say yet. Let's hope for, let's have a hopeful yet in there. Do I have a level two fly yet? Level three fly, oh my god, I can do whatever I want. Okay, where are these absolute twat waffles? Uh, let's just, let's make this a little faster. still legal in your state, see that? That sucks. Like, it's so stupid how that works, that certain states can have it legal and some don't. But at the same time, on a federal level, because it's illegal, like, you can get serious shit. <laughs> Intoxicated, and it's sober. Oh my god. That's how I should have, you know, written everything I've ever written. Get super high. Yeah, like, the fact that you can go and buy it two hours away, and that's fine. going on? Oh, another fly just died, didn't they? Let's dance. can try and cast me back in the shadows. Yeah, fully criminalized. So, like, you can be in jail just for possession, which is stupid. I'm sorry. Like, that, and jails are, like, overflowing. I wonder why. <laughs> At least you guys are still cool badasses breaking the law. 
I, uh, my, my law breaking days are done now. <laughs> that was pretty much all I did. Let's get some of this fine HD action. Look at that. Starfield come at me. Uh, okay, let's just let our flies... Um, I just want to double check that there's no secrets in this level. So I'm just gonna drop this guy. Oh god, that's horrible. And it's inverted. Why the fuck would you invert this? You foolish little bastards. Few of the best works came out of an absinthe bottle. I mean, you're not wrong. Also, ugh, absinthe. Once you have one bad experience with absinthe, you never go back. It's worse than tequila. Ah, there we go. Jesus. That's horrible. The fact that you just lose your license like that. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to save there. I'm going to exit. Fix the settings once more. We're just going to mute the music. It's a nice sunny day and they're saying it's going to be cold and rainy all next week. Okay, see that sucks when you know like you have to take advantage of it. Uh, okay, so we're going to go Dungeon Keeper Gold. Uh, three sounds nice. I guess I should probably throw on some music, eh? Let me just find something on YouTube. Uh, what am I looking for? Drew, what do you use? Uh, Going for some copyright free shit. White Bat John Carpenter mix. All right. Looks like you're hacking in the 80s. <laughs> I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I've gone back in time. Sorry guys, I can't see chat. Uh, I'm trying to do this all on. Uh, here we go. Oh, I know this one. All right. There we go. Dicky dicky hole. Oh man, I miss the Ox cast. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have, uh, gotta have that morning copy. Oh yeah, and, and sleeping too early, that, that could be a problem. And hey, Dylan, you know what? It's not for everyone. I, uh, I get that. I get that. I've gone through periods of my life where, like, smoking all the time. One of them being now. But, like, I've also gone through times where it's like, I just didn't like it. Wasn't having fun. It was making me paranoid and kind of shitty. Yeah, first song is familiar. Uh, also, is that too loud? Hold on. 
It's loud for me, so I'm going to turn that down. Just really loud. And turn it down. Bring up desktop audio. How are we doing sound wise? Is that good? Touch loud? Okay. Very Game loud. loaded. What the hell? Fuck's sake. You need a bigger treasure. Music is off, right? This is also the uh, the growing noises. No, the, the growing pains. And I don't know how to turn off the music. Uh, that fucking sucks. Um, song does slap. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, we're bringing that like right the hell down. Hopefully, that's a little better. <clears throat> Fuck. And this is one of the problems with playing old ass games. That level's perfect. Okay, now we have to get in the game, and hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Uh, I'm going to try going into the settings one more time and shut that shit off, because... Okay, MIDI music is gone. Now it's too quiet. Fuck. Pops a random pill some guy at the back of the audience gave me for free. Yeah, there's a there's a bit of a, an extra delay in chat because I'm still scared of uh, my um, my internet being stupid. Um, I didn't go for ultra low latency. Yeah, low latency, not ultra. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna just have to go with what we had before, which is super low desktop audio and. Um, having to listen to the music. I'm just going to turn down desktop audio, though. So, sorry, folks, we don't get the John Carpenter remix. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to play like this. At least this time. Next time, hopefully, I will have some stuff sorted out. Yeah, this is the low latency, so it shouldn't be as bad as if I was just doing normal. Because the normal is like, fuck, you're waiting like three years for a goddamn reply. It's bad. Game loaded. Like you're literally talking about a completely different subject by the time you get there. Oh, it's not alt. It's... Control. You need a bigger treasure. <laughs> I definitely hit the wrong button. Ultra instant latency. Well, I should actually be capable of something like that now. Damn, I'm not beating any of my old scores. See, like, why is the sensitivity so high? A region of pointless frolicking and envy. So, sorry, folks. The, uh, the audio is still a bit of an issue. We got the visuals working. The game is... Working okay. Ah, see, there's a secret.
pretty good now. Oh yes, please like the stream, even if I'm looking like an unprofessional goober. Uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate y'all coming out. Helping me sort out audio issues. Oh. Y'all are chads. In the ironic way where you're actually cooler than any chad I've met. Yeah, they don't make music in games like they used to. This, is, this shit's pretty, uh, pretty sweet. <clears throat> yeah, compat compatibility issues are definitely expected in the game like this. I bet you, Peter Molyneux, did not think anyone would ever play a game like this in 2023, 2024. Can you go for now? I'm back on mobile for there will be any Wi-Fi available. No worries, Nix. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, if, if you're hanging in chat, uh, I hope you enjoy hanging out with us. And I hope you did already. Take it easy and have yourself a good day. Okay, let's get this treasury going. Again, my headphones are on two out of a hundred, and like this is blasting my ears. I can't, can't stand this. It's, it's good music. It's cool, but like, it's fucking cool industrial shit. Forgot about that. <coughs> <coughs> go back one day and figure out what the hell they're saying backwards. Oh, we will have a very fun stream. This is, uh, this is already shaping up to be a lot of fun. Um, again, I love this game. It is one of my favorites. Very aggressive. Um, very, very aggressive. <laughs> Gotta head over to Mikey's stream. Come on. Love you guys. Have a great stream. Thank you so much, Dylan. Love you too. We'll see you soon. Uh, say hi to Mikey for us. I feel bad, like, streaming on the same times as Mikey. Uh, all the time. It just kind of happens that it's the only time I'm available to stream solo. And, uh, at least, like, consistently. So, not that I've been consistent. <laughs> Thanks to internet woes. Um, yes, please say hi for us. Okay, we got our demon spawn. Thanks for the breakfast stream. No problem. It's, uh, I'm trying to think of some kind of breakfast club meme to make here, but uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I haven't, I've only had half my coffee. I need to have my whole coffee before I start making real jokes. Okay, it is time for a library. Hey, 
And I guess we can get some more amps. Don't you feel bad? I'm sure he doesn't mind. He has a big, big boy, cool guy audience now. He does have a big old freaking audience. We've got a, we've got a, a great audience as well. I mean, a half of our audience we wouldn't have had we not met Mikey. <laughs> Okay, let's... Why did they just abandon their job halfway through there? Okay, so now we get Warlocks. Yeah, no, we, like, we cannot thank y'all enough for checking us out and, uh, and taking our content like in our silly little selves. Need a bigger treasure room. No, you don't even get to go and claim a home. I'm just gonna throw you right in the library. You get right to work, buddy. Get to work, Gandalf. Everything else will go in there. That backwards fucking speak is so creepy. I think there's only one thing to research anyway. A new spell has been researched. There is nothing left to research. There sure isn't. So let's throw them. It's funny because the music is actually like similar. <clears throat> Very similar to like XCOM. Like, uncanny resemblance to XCOM music. Uh, yeah, so we're just building our own little dungeon here. And, uh, we're waiting for the heroes of the land to try and fuck us up. Which they will not. We got money. Giving them all speed boosts. Giving them all steroids. It might be, honestly, it was around the same time, because XCOM Apocalypse was 1996, and this was 97. Uh, it would not surprise me. Yeah, the, the first couple maps are just tutorials teaching you how, like, the basic rooms work. Um, I think we're safe to go and hit this. He says, as he's about to stumble upon a very dangerous little secret. I honestly can't remember what's down here. I think it might be a jail with some spiders. Yeah, computer starts cheating later on, which is fucking 
douchey. Oh, skeletons. Okay. Skellingtons. What are you doing not training, you little wanker? You too. You guys get in there too. I don't have any bile demons, I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> now would be an excellent time to train a warlock while I'm training several, so fuck off. Not that much. <laughs> I have a feeling, uh, Alucard, that you know this game just as well as I do. I don't think you can get mo uh, the multiplayer working, but there was a little party that was like, oh my god, challenge to a duel. <laughs> I never played multiplayer in this game. It was... It was early ass... Don't slap the warlocks though, because they get pissy for some reason. They're like the only non kinky creature. I mean, at this point, I have the money, I could just. Everybody gets speed. Okay. First couple maps still in memory. See, that that's the thing. I I've played so much of this game that like I do have the first couple levels. Remember, there's a couple that I know everything. Later on, my favorite level I think is number eight or nine. It's when you first get into like the snowy areas of the map. It's so cool. I just I remember being absolutely fascinated back then. Like. Oh my god, you have a completely different environment. You have tunneled into a new area. Your creatures are under attack. It's just something as simple as like a new biome. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. <laughs> but I loved it. Your minions are winning a battle. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. Those guys get fireballs. Why are my imps fighting? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to get through all of the the first couple levels quickly. He's just like, all he sees is treasure. He doesn't care about anything else. He had the opportunity to try and, like, take out my, uh, my heart. So, yeah, uh, Jared, the point of the game is to protect this. If you don't protect this, you die. That's pretty much it. So something kind of cool is you learn pretty quickly that you can actually just drop your dudes or your uh, your imps under tiles. Yes, some creatures hate each other. Uh, warlocks hate vampires. Um, bile demons, which are 
super awesome. Like, they're tanky as hell. Uh, they hate skeletons. Uh, trolls hate something. I can't remember what it is. And there's something the mistress doesn't like. Oh, you, you just wait, Drew. Some of the creatures in this game are pretty fucking wild. There's literally a BDSM room. You have tunneled into a new area. Yeah, bile demons and skellies. Um, and the thing is, like, skellies are decent for, like, attack, but they go down kind of quick. Whereas bile demons are, like, pretty good for attack, but also very tanky. So I always, I always kind of favor the, the bile demons. Okay. Nope, that's a beetle. Whoops. Let's go for a little, little zoomy zoom there, bud. A BD hero. Alright, let's, uh, let's drop everything in there. Wait, what? How did he get there? Yeah, after level 4, the vampires are, like, stupid. Because you have to kill them... You can beat them, but I think you have to kill them once for every level they have. So if it's a level 9 vampire, you have to kill it 9 times. reason. <laughs> okay, let's see if this fly discovers anything. If not, then uh, we go to the next level. Yeah, uh, I was trying to figure out how to make the uh, the type like pop a little bit, so I, I th threw some funky colors in there. Oops. It is payday. I don't know about you guys, I can barely see. Oh, you, it's actually your easy. Yeah, it's actually easier to see on the uh, um, the monitor for stream. So we're just gonna go with that. Okay, that's it. Next level has the uh, first secret. I can't remember. I used to know the name of the, the guy who did the intro there. Um, oh, I remember this one. This one's also kind of funny because it's like, here, we're going to give you unlimited money. Right off the bat. Oops. Once you, uh... Yeah, the 3D looks very good considering 1997 and, like, the scope of the game. Because, again, like, you have to think it had, like, interpersonal relationships between creatures. They all had some kind of personality. get this treasure room filling up and then we can just spawn in a shit ton of imps. Oh 
Wow. That room cost me every penny I had. I don't like having like cut corners like that where you've got two rooms that are kind of just barely separated. It just personally bothers me, so I don't do it. Killed it. I actually don't know what I killed. I am confused. Was it the last level? Because yeah, I did. <laughs> Something I do not look forward to is once they introduce other keepers, it is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, just because, again, they're kind of OP. expand this a little bit because I feel like we're going to have a lot of gold. Yeah, this is the first gem level. They're like, hey, uh, you know, we'll we'll take it easy on this time. Uh, free money. So I'm just going to make a shit ton of imps so this gets done faster. And we're going to slap the fuck out of all of them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, the first couple levels, again, are just, like, tutorials, so they go pretty quick. Uh, it's later on when you have to, like, strategize. You actually have to think of what you're doing. Wait, do you think this might be the first level of Bile Demons? Or maybe it's the next one. Yeah, uh, a lot of the time it's about just holding up until your your characters are strong enough. Uh, I guess. Hmm. That should be. Yeah, the gem levels definitely make you uh, just go into defense mode because you don't need to worry about expanding or like finding money anywhere. You're just set for life. we can break ground here. Start getting some creatures. I 
I'm so like non-aggressive in, in strategy games. Like, as you can see, I waited until I had steady income and all of the rooms built before I actually cleaned the entrance. Demon spawn. This is the level where you get the workshop. you're going into training too. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, uh, like, chill game to play. I always liked it um, growing up because it was just kind of like a switch your brain off a little bit. have to like macro anything it's not like a, a serious um, strategy game like Starcraft or anything like that it's or like total annihilation or any of those ones <laughs> the real crazy ones dungeon. Oops. Hey, there's the troll. Let's chuck him in there right now. They'll uh, get us a door. You can also get, like, gas traps, which literally... They're just basically canned farts. I was going to say they make the sound effect of a fart, but no, that's just the, uh, that's one of the abilities of Bile Demons. Some real rock music. This is the original Rock and Stone. Let's just be honest here. I have to check whether my headphones are on the right way, because, like, I'm getting sounds that are coming from over here, but they're coming from the left side. It's very disorienting. Yay, we have a bridge now. We can go to Terabithia, guys. It'll be great. Nothing bad happens in Terabithia. Beetles, get your ass in there. Faster. 
So much thunder. Terapathy is all mooncakes and have it. You know what's? I actually really like mooncakes. Uh, Fairy Zap gets them from work sometimes, um, and they are fantastic. Delicious little snacks. Alrighty, one more spell, and then uh, those warlocks are going into training. It's training day, boys. No, we don't need four trolls. You can start training. Look at that first door, and then we can actually proceed. Okay, they're just talking about the one that I just trapped out there. He's fine. How about you finish the job, bud? What do I pay you for? I don't even pay you. I pay in slaps, and you're into it, so... Go on, bud. First Canadian dungeon key for me. Oh. With this kind of money, I can just keep healing them all day. Get wrecked, fool. Oh, that was another thing in Dungeon Keeper 2. You could only build... You had to build, like, stone bridges over lava and wood bridges over water. It was kind of annoying. Okay, so we're going to check and see A door has been manufactured. if there's any secrets here. I can't remember if there are. Got a memory of a sieve. <laughs> Is it dungeon in a fucking igloo, bud? Okay, I don't think there's any secrets on this side. There is one, I think you can transfer a creature at the end here, because there's like a spider cave that occasionally the heroes can accidentally trigger so that they actually save them. It's weird. Setting up some traps. You get extra money. I think, you know, we don't even have to mine these right now. <laughs> There's so much money on the ground. A door has 
We don't care about these beetles, so we're just gonna... Oh, beetles and spiders. That's another one. They don't get along. Which is kind of like, who cares? Because <clears throat> beetles are completely useless. They have like one or two decent abilities, but they're not good enough to justify waiting to get them. So... Because you can only recruit so many creatures per map. Uh, kind of makes sense just to... Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. I'm not even high. Oh yeah, sometimes it makes sense to just like sacrifice them. Uh, I think we have enough traps. <clears throat> that one sounded like it felt close. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's kind of scary when you hear one that, like, hits right next to you or something, right? Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday night. There was a big old thunderstorm. I didn't even know it was happening because, like, it wasn't raining or anything. Um, but, like, Fairy Zap and I were watching something and all of a sudden heard, like, the most ridiculously long thunderclap. It was crazy. It lasted, like, a solid 20 seconds. And we're like, did the world just end or was that thunder? I guess we can throw a couple of these bad boys out here. Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are falling in battle. Oh, hi. That's not good. Send some trolls out there. Okay, we're beating the muscle. Alright, now we let them go back. Maybe heal the ones that got hurt. Yeah, I wonder what they think about the giant hand. It is the hand that feeds them, so... You don't want to bite it. It also occasionally gives them a little bit of a, a, a punch in the tuchus. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get for being angry in my dungeon. This is a place of tranquility. Get fucked. <laughs> Sorry, what's that mean? Oh, good, I stole a thief. I'm gonna go think about uh, for you. It was just another Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely. We were just telling them it was a thunderstorm. I like that. <laughs> 
Oh man, yeah, this thunder's real crazy. Yeah, it's really nuts. Creatures. I think you can only get 21 or 20 in this level, and then you get the free steel hero. Oh, just because I'm lazy. That's all. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> just lazy. Now, is this the one where there's a dungeon heart here? Or is that another one? I can't even hear the heartbeat because the fucking music. Let's use another useless troll. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's definitely what I wanted them to do. There we go. Man, those trolls are not standing up to them. Oh, did the Lord of the Landers fuck Your off with them? Yeah, and this is the one with the, uh... <gasps> oh, this poor imp. He's like, let me out, let me out, let me out! <laughs> How many trolls does it take to kill the Lord of the Land? We're gonna try five. Exactly. They're they are just for making stuff and like even the level ten troll has a couple of cool abilities. It can like use super speed, it can I think it can freeze things. I can't remember. And like it hits hard, but it takes so long to train a troll. You gotta like send them to Reddit. So I can't remember what the next one is. It has to become a mod first. <laughs> the Lord of the Land is usually pretty tough. Um, okay, what levels are we working at over here, boys? Uh, got some sevens. Nobody's an eight. Seven. You're just started seven. Uh, 
halfway. Okay, so we're gonna wait till this guy levels up then. Yeah, they don't they don't turn into dragons until ha like halfway through the game. I just want to get like eh, you know what a level seven should do it. A level seven should do it. Once we find the transfer creature, we'll use it. We've got it. Spiders aren't great. Again, they're one of those creatures that can, like, be decent uh, when they're fully leveled, but they take so long. I want to see if I can, like, how far I can get. So I'm just going to take a, a level 7 and see how far we get with that. Because I know we're getting kind of close to the Lucky worst level on me. <clears throat> or at least it was the one I always feared. Oh, fuck. You need to go the left, your creature. Oh, fuck. I hate this one. Okay. Let's... If we don't have a treasure room, then they just mine it out and leave it on the ground. This will be my training room. Nice pig. You need to build a lair for your creatures. You must have enough gold. Actually, yeah, maybe this is treasure room. Yeah, that's another thing. So, Jeru, uh, you, like, there's a pool of creatures that can come through your gate, and they only spawn a certain amount of each type. So, it's up to, like, it's between you and the enemy to get them. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. Another one. Let's make a very small treasure room for now, and then that way they'll still mine out. So theoretically, we should be able to just speed run this. Uh, we're going to chuck the beetle back down. We don't need a beetle. See, this is, again, where the game gets more intense. 
more money, the better rooms makes them come to your dungeon. Shit. Okay, so yeah, that actually that checks out. <laughs> so we'll expand the uh, the treasure room now. It was mostly just so we could get this room mined out. And then all of our gold is already here. So that's full. I forgot, do they have gems? I think I thought they might have gems. Oh my god, I don't need flies. Uh you know what, we'll keep one fly just for the purpose of scouting. And then we'll build our little library. how the music just decided to stop. After all of the trouble we went through to try and get rid of it. 5x5. Five five. Well, I think everything's almost 5x5 five five at this point. I would simply love it if my imps would, you know, do all the things they're supposed to be doing. Uh, I'm almost wondering, should I mine out all that gold up there? Because that is typically why they start pushing in the first place. Beetles and flies. Need not be. Sure, I'll take spiders. Spiders are okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oof, they've got more creatures than I do. I don't like that. Can't spell simp without imp. This is true. It is known. Okay, yeah, we're gonna cut out this rock. I'm gonna save first. Game save. Try I fuck myself. Oh, it's flies and spiders. Yeah, we don't need flies. Get your ass in the library. I just want to get to the, the lava. Excellent. There's a bile demon. Yeah. So the bile demons are those big fuckers. And they just, they cause problems. It's great. Okay, I think we're uh I think we're doing pretty well. 
I might be able to get one more mission after this one. Because theoretically this could go very quickly. They like a big kitchen. They do. And I think I've got a pretty decent sized kitchen. That's a lot of chicken. Now, if I'm correct, there should be a structure. Yes. One of those is, I think, a reveal map, and the other one is a level up. So we're going to hit that as fast as possible. Hopefully they research the bridge. the treasure room but not immediately we're gonna cut it out so that we can hopefully force them to just start mining a new room has been researched. bridge 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 seen a strat and I don't think it'll work here because I'm pretty sure they've already mined. <gasps> they haven't. There's a douchebag strat here. Where you can go over to their side, mine out the, the like a wall and then shore up the defenses and they will not be able to get out. <clears throat> I hear man falling down hole. You might have. You might have. Prisons give us skellies. This is true. And you know what we don't need? Fucking beetles. Now, Drew, you know this. I am a big beetles fan. So saying that feels like sacrilege, but... They're just not useful in this game. Yeah, we can, Im we can imprison a couple of bad boys. Uh, guard post, I guess. Maybe a guard post there would help. Uh, we have two spells and one building. You know, still the research. Let's. Ah, there we go. That's the increased level. Hey, dude. There might be some problems. Oh, shit. What, like, flooding, or? Because that is not good. We don't like flooding. I hope uh, I hope everything's okay. I hope uh, the 
brain kind of calms down. That's that's really not good. Yeah, yeah, I guess desert areas don't really get crazy heavy rain very often, so it's a bit of a shock to the system when they do. Stop giving me beetles, goddammit. Yeah, I guess the plants might be happy, that's good. Is this the one that has the, uh, like a little water back way into the base? Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Nope. Okay. Oh my god, the stupid fucking flies. Giant hand. It happens if rain go rainfall gets to a point in here. Wait, what? There's a giant hand? You need a bigger treasure. I'm looking this up right now. A new spell has been researched. There is nothing left to research. Whoa. Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. That's crazy. Driest desert in the world. That's saying something. That thing that's known for being dry? Yeah, we've got the driest one. That's badass. Must be rough for like, you know, nosebleeds and shit too. Is he level 10 yet? Where's my boy? My star student. There he is, he's level 9. Tryest humor in the world. Uh, that's Britain. You know what's funny is this guy could have actually been doing his goddamn job, but instead he's just like running around like a fool. Hands on the ground. So the more bridge there is, the harder it is, like the longer it takes them to take it over, so... creatures than I do. But we have more trained creatures. You need a bigger treasure room. The priests are attacking the enemy. 
some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. It is payday. Okay, let's spawn some shitty imps, because now I have decent imps. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are falling in battle. Oh, I forgot I put them on in prison. Let's just kill. Let's just kill. Okay, so we just make sure to keep something always ready here. Church charges use my stuff for this monster. Yeah, that, that can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Living near a tour structure or a tourist uh, trap. Your creatures are under attack. And yes, he did just fight. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are under attack. Yeah, again, we're we're not going for prisoners right now. Your minions are winning a battle. Shit. How's it going, Daedrid? Damn, this guy's using his forty seventy TI to the fullest. Absolutely. This is, uh, this is gaming right here. This is the next edge of gaming. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your creatures are under attack. Your okay, come on. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your creatures are falling in battle. What the hell are you gonna do? Throw your fucking three guys at me? <clears throat> There's a beach house then. That's badass. That fart though. Yep. You gotta have that fart. Definitely a fart. Farts are not only funny, but deadly. Alright, let's just uh, rally the uh, the troops and go on a charge. I kind of told you to go and attack them, but instead you're just kind of... Oh, you're training. God damn it. Fucking clean the room. There we go. Have the best summer of your life at your dad's beach house. Gotta love those teen rom coms from way back. Your 
witches are under attack. Oh my god, I can't. Your minions are winning a battle. Like, your creatures are supposed to go and rally at this thing, and they're not rallying. They're just kind of chilling. And now. Look at that frame rate, boys. A nice birthday party, so that's all right. <laughs> Your creatures are under attack. Your minions are winning the battle. You must claim to be. There we go. Fuck him up. Your minions are winning the battle. And we are about to win this one too. Morning, day. I hope you're doing well. You have conquered this realm. Yay. Okay, so that's what we've done. One, two, three, four, five. We can at least get partway into six. I got like another 20 minutes or so. Oh. I know this one. Again, we're not going to mine that out yet. Training room. You must build a treasure wall to store gold. And library. Get some imps going. Way to go, kid. Teeny tiny treasure room. Mostly just one of more imps. PJ pants. Now that is a mouthful. Now, 
I do remember there are some, like, regular heroes on this map, so I have to be careful about where I mine into. They do sound very warm. Super cozy. Let's get a hatchery. Battle demon, battle demon, please be battle demon. You need a bigger treasure. Spider. Baby, 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 pirate. That's actually probably a pretty obscure Simpsons reference. <laughs> if you get that, bonus points to you. Do points count for anything? No, but... You're cool. I want all those full body armed blankets. Oh, the Snuggy? Is it Snuggy time? Teach me how to Snuggy. Afford to expand the treasure room. Not super keen on the creature selection at the moment. A new spell is being researched. Just keep banishing bugs. I just think he's the best. That is awesome. I uh, always wanted to try a Snuggy. Just see how Snuggy it is. You know? Sorry, I'm so late. No worries, Joker. No need to apologize. Glad you're here, though. We are, uh... We are, uh... Launching into the sixth mission of Dungeon Keeper. So we're already a quarter of the way through the game. At least, that's how it seems on paper. And then we get into the actual game where the... Levels are... Hour-long... Endeavors. Endeavors? Endeavors. You research. Everybody's got a job, they gotta stick to their job. I think it's, it's just a couple of, uh, the fairies, which I think get lightning at, like, level 7 or 8, so it should be too precarious here. I know you can, like, you can make the circle go bigger, but I don't really need it to. I just need to check a couple spaces. Ah, there's an enemy. Oh, they're level one fairies? Pfft. Okay. Hey, you get the fuck out of my dungeon. I don't want to discriminate, but... No bugs. It's a bug-free dungeon. Except for the spiders. Of course. <laughs> they're, I guess, technically bugs. It's a mostly bug-free dungeon, okay? Yay. Okay. 
How's uh oh you get the fuck out of my dungeon, man. I'm not gonna tell you twice. Bug free with small bugs. <laughs> This is uh, the Fallout 76 of dungeons. There will be no bugs. Second demon spawn I have? Oh no, there's three now. Okay, that's good. Need a bigger treasure room. Need a bigger treasure room. Shut up. How you doing today, Joker? Hope you're doing well. A new spell has been researched. Oh, you know what? I guess I could build a little prison here. Skelly's going. Uh, this is like one of my favorite games from when I was a kid, and seeing as uh, I think I lost my XCOM file, which makes me very sad, um, we're going to play a different favorite of my childhood uh, and see if we can get through the whole thing. We're already a quarter of the way through, but as I was just saying, it gets very difficult very soon. There's one level that, like, I used to hate as a child, and it's coming up not too long from now. Got a, little work I, got a lot of work I don't want to do this weekend. Can't wait to eat brunch. Brunch sounds fantastic. I am kind of craving some brunch. You know what else I'm craving? The blood of my enemies. So we're going to go and suck some of that dry. Oh, that's not good. They're going to be expanding soon. We need to get out there. Shop going. Your creatures are under attack. Hey, get the hell out of here. That stupid flying bullshit. Well, that means I think that they've already killed the uh, the berries, so. We're going to need to move in on this right now. Oh, thank God. Control. Nice. No bug. Cool. Hey, you get training. Got a troll. He can do the building stuff. Let's build that. A new spell has been researched. All right, here we go. We're about to unlock the best or one of my favorite units in the game. This is a secret, is it not? It certainly is.
going to back out the map a bit just because uh, we might need to be able to see stuff. Oh, hello, waifu. Straight up one of the best creatures in the game. Like, they're actually super powerful, too. Oh shit, I've got lightning? Well, why don't we just... Toss? I've got a lot of money, so let's... <laughs> Get fucked. Okay, so I think I'm winning on creatures now. Yes, yes, those are the three uh, that you need for the Horny Demon. Uh, but the Horny Demon, I, I just can't stand the micromanagement of it. It's so annoying, I just, I, I don't even bother. So yeah, I definitely think this game is is definitely giving me the money's worth out of my PC. Like, look at these 97 uh, high fidelity graphics. You haven't seen shit like this before. That's not a power up. Boom. Everything's just been leveled up. Okay, uh, I think we can actually move in on them. Because. This is their training room. Or. The sound is backwards, so I think it's this one. So they're only training like level twos for now. Yeah, now's probably the time to strike. They've also got like one gold seam still left. So many polygons. I mean, this is the peak of gaming. It will never get any better. Sand. Oh, I nearly hit him with that fighting bolt. Three and let's move. It's going to suck if I can't get into his. Oh, P oh no, PS1 Hagrid was just as bad, if not worse. So I had that PS1 Harry Potter game, and it was a fantastic game, by all means. Uh, but 
damned and haggard look derby. Let's take a 8 bit by 8 bit image and stretch it over a polygon. Lightning bolt in there, yeah. Oh, he's doing the lightning bolt thing too. I don't like that. Let's just heal this guy until the reinforcements can get here. Yeah, he's being a he's being a lightning scum too. Which reminds me, I should probably Mines of Gold. Farts are enough for those the warlocks, they have no con to make a save. And here we go, we're about to win level six. I couldn't remember if this is one where you get to transfer a creature. You have defeated an enemy keeper. Yay! Alright, well, we'll finish that. We'll start the next one and I'll save. And then uh, I think we'll probably call it there for today. Oh, is this the one? Oh no, this is a really cool one, actually. Game saved. Yeah, so it's a, a keeper and the baddies. So this one's kind of spicy. But anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for me today. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And uh, episode two will be coming... Maybe next Saturday, um, if not before. So we'll see. We'll see if I find the time somewhere else. Yeah, GG's, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. And uh, make sure, if you're not already watching um, Mikey, then uh, head on over to Mikey's stream. I, unfortunately, am going to have to hop off and head to get some errands done. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope to see you guys soon. And we'll see you on the flip side, if I can just figure out. Eh?